G'day. In today's video, I'm going to be replacing the wireless card in an ASUS VivoBook 17. So I'm going to replace it with a AX200 NGW wireless card. So a Wi-Fi 6 Intel chip. And to begin with, we want the device turned off. And we'll flip it over. The particular model on this one is X712F. So to begin with, we're going to want to take out all the screws we can see. They are all the standard Phillips heads. So we'll also discover along the way if they are the same size. I predict that the ones at the back will all will be longer and the ones at the front will be shorter. So far, it's looking to be the case. And the reason for the upgrade on this is just the wireless card seems to be playing out. So you could go down the path of up updating the drivers, which I have attempted, and that made no difference whatsoever. So I'll proceed with changing over the wireless card to something a bit newer, a bit more powerful. Granted, it probably won't have too much of a difference overall in running speed, as usually the biggest limiting factor is the actual internet connection, not your internal WAN connection, or LAN connection. But let's crack it open and have a look anyway. While we're here, we'll also see what can potentially be upgraded. So now for all the screws removed, I'm going to use a plastic pry tool to get in there, or at least attempt to. Start on the ports over here, and see if I can separate it. There we go. That's going fine. There we go. The hard drive wants to stay stuck. And there we go, we are in. Now, as we can see, this looks rather underwhelming, considering how large of a machine this is. So internally, we have a very small battery over here, a 32 watt hour. We have an NVMe drive here that would be replaceable. It does look to be m SATA going by the pin configuration on that, but it should also support NVMe going by the processor. We do have a 2.5 inch hard drive here. So a replaceable battery, an upgradable 2.5 inch drive, upgradable NVMe. We do only have a single slot of eight gig of RAM here, and I'm not seeing any other actual directly soldered modules. And to upgrade that wireless card, do see the fan is passively blowing over the board, and I'm finding that cooling configuration to be very poor. Granted, this was probably more designed for being a high wattage or low wattage machine. But it, if it had a 52 watt or a 48 watt hour battery filling up this area, it'd be a much more efficient use of space. So to begin with, I'm gonna disconnect the, disconnect the hard drive. Oh, no, sorry, the hard drive. Disconnect the battery. I've slid that forward. I should be able to flip this up. One battery disconnected. Next, we'll disconnect the antenna cables. So I'm just going to pry under and lift up. Black is closest to the fan. And next up from here is pretty straightforward. Undo the Phillips head screw. Lift out, wiggle out. We've got one wireless card here, which this one was an Intel 9560NGW. Put that aside for now. Grab out the new wireless card, which does have a different pin out on it. So we may or may not work, but we fit. Also hoping that the BIOS doesn't have this particular card white listed, or, or hope it is white listed, not black listed, as some manufacturers have been doing. Now I'll line that over the top, push down, clicks into position. Do the same in the next one, line it up, wiggle it a little bit, push down. Not quite. There we go. And you should just be able to rotate them. Next up, we need to reconnect the battery. Push down. Pull the lever back. Over the top. And next up, we're virtually done from here. So now it's just put the bottom cover back on. Now also with this one, if you do damage the charger port on it, it is soldered directly to the main board which is located over here. 
So you would have to remove the main board to be able to replace that. And while it's open, another thing I will quickly look at is the hinges and just tighten them up. There's a lot of modern computers, laptops, seem to have hinges that seem to unscrew themselves over time and usually end up destroying themselves. So we go with that like that, put, put this back on and just pinch it as you work around. And next up, we need to put our Phillips head screws in. I'm just gonna fire this up and make sure it's all good. But if you're happy with your wireless card, the long, big, thicker screws go in here. The slightly longer screws go one, two, three. And then down the front here, one, two, three, four, are the four smaller screws. Hope this helps, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.